in this video we are going to understand how can we work with the visualization creation process in tableau and what all things we can control what all things we must keep in mind so um, this is the screen that would be available for you for the visualization creation process and we have already seen a bunch of stuff uh, of this screen in the previous video in this video we are just going to continue with the discussion so uh here this is the visualization that's been created this is the name of the sheet that's by default sheet one that's visible if you want to make it more informative you can just right click here and go to rename option so what is this sheet depicting it is depicting sub category wise sales so sub category wise sales right as soon as i changed this name this heading also changed so that means whatever the name of the sheet is that's been uh, displayed over here but in case you don't want the sheet name to be displayed you want something else to be displayed what you can do is right click and go to this edit title option this is the title that is shown now here you can control two things the first thing is the way it is looking like its appearance and the second is the value it contains okay so by default it is selected to a sheet name uh, which of course you can change like if you can just go to this insert button these are the different things that are available if you want you can just select any of them but if you just don't want them you can just custom uh, custom select your name like you can provide the name as sub category wise sales subcategory versus sales let's just do it different from the sheet name so that uh, there's no confusion now suppose you want to make any changes to the way it is looking you need to just select this whole text and uh, make the changes like uh, change the font let's say book man old style you want to change its size let's say do it an 18 you want to keep it a bold you want to change its alignment you want to change its color let's say a purple like this so a preview is available also you can click on the supply button so you can see that how it is looking on the sheet actually if you are happy with it you can go with it otherwise you can just select it all and change uh, the appearance in the way that you like like i don't want it to be bold let's click on apply yeah it is looking uh, fine by me so i'm just going to go with it if you want to go over the insert option so these are the things that you can insert these different things which i want you to explore on yourself um, because these are the different things and they are really simple which you can explore on your own okay then whatever suits you you can just click on okay after applying those changes in case you don't want this title to be shown at all what you can do is right click and there is this hide title option you can hide this okay so i'm not just gonna work with the title okay now one thing more as you can see uh, right now in this particular sheet the visualization is available only in this part and this whole place is wasted so if you just don't want that what you can do is go to this option this drop down where it is showing standard this is the fitting of the visualization right now it's a standard if you don't want standard you can just select the fit width option so now your visualization will take up the whole width if you don't want the fit width you can go over a fit height option that would take up the whole vertical space but if you want the fit width and the fit height as well you can go with the entire view option so it would take up the whole screen and it would be more easier for you to understand the visualization in this way if you're working with it right furthermore we have uh, multiple things like this presentation mode so this is the visualization present in the presentation mode which is kind of a full screen like view and uh, this is usually used whenever we want to give a presentation Here you can see if you want to exit the full screen if you want to exit the presentation mode um and all this stuff so exit the presentation mode okay now there are a bunch of other tools i would be discussing about them suppose uh right now the visualization is organized in a subcategory wise fashion but there is no order like um we are what the data is organized is as the subcategory 
ऑर्गेनाइज इन दी असेंडिंग ऑर्डर लाइक एक्सेसरीज एप्लीसेस आर्ट बाइंडर्स एक्सेट्रा बट सपोज वी वॉन्टेड टू बी ऑर्गेनाइज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ सेल्स हाउ डू वी डू दैट सेलेक्ट दैट पर्टिकुलर कॉलम लाइक इफ यू जस्ट सेलेक्ट ऑन द सेल्स सो इट वुड बी चेंज टू अ डार्क ग्रीन कॉलर देन गो टू दीज ऑप्शन दिस इज फॉर दी डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर एंड इवन इफ यू होवर ओवर इट सो वट यू गेट दिस टूल टिप इज शॉर्ट सब कैटेगरी डिसेंडिंग बाई सेल्स यू कैन जस्ट सेलेक्ट दैट एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ द सेल्स अमाउंट द सब कैटेगरीज हैव बीन सॉर्टेड इन द डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर If you want ascending order, you can just select this one, and they are not selected in the uh, ascending order like this. This is the uh, swap rows and columns option with a shortcut Control W. So if you just do that, so what happens is earlier the sales were present in the columns. Uh, sorry, the sales were present in the rows. Now the sales is present in the columns. So the bar chart has been changed into a uh, this kind of a chart, column chart, right? so this is how you can control this in case you want to change the color so there is this color option you can just select any color that you want uh, like this okay any color that you want you can just select that even if you want you can just create custom colors as well by going to this more colors option there is this whole color palette that you can use you can control the opacity as well from here you want borders uh the automatic borders you can just select the colors for the borders etc everything you can just control from this color panel now suppose you want some more information to be visible like you want the sales amount uh to be visible as well let me go in this fashion because that's much more clearer i want the sales amount to be visible so what can i do is uh there are two ways through which i can work first is i can just drag the sales and drop it into this labels column okay once i do that all the sales amount is visible if i just don't want that i can just delete it so just drag the sales into this blank area and that would be deleted otherwise if you just don't want to do the dragging uh what you can do is double click on it no actually double clicking would not work right here so yeah uh you can just drag the sales into the labels part but if you want to delete it from here you can just right click and there is this option to remove and that would be removed so that's one way the second is that uh, suppose this is this labels option mark labels option so if that is enabled you can use that directly so you don't have to go through all this process but right now i don't think it is available yeah uh we will see its usage later on for now you can just drag and drop the sales option so the sales value is visible now the sales is usually done in the currency format but we are not getting to see anything like this so what we can do is we can just change the way it looks right so we can just go to the format um option and there is this font we can just select that particular value that we want to format like the sales that's present in the rows and from here actually we can just select the sum sales now by default the numbers are selected like this if you want the currency to be there so standard currency if you select so the english currency of united states is selected which is absolutely correct because uh, we are getting the data from united states itself however if you want a custom currency you can just select that like i want it to three decimal places i don't want any negative values and um instead of dollar i can just get the rs symbol for rupees put a dot you want the suffix you can add a suffix like this so all of this basically you can do as per your choice these are these different things available that you can just select now uh, these are the formatting options which needs to be looked on in detail because there are a lot of things that could be resolved while uh, working with these formatting options alone so we would be looking at all of them in detail uh, in the upcoming videos that's all for this video actually uh, because we learned a lot about the different things of how can we work with the visualizations how can we customize the visualizations in tableau so once we have covered all of these uh, tips and tricks then we would be moving on to other visualizations right so that is all for this video and uh, thanks for watching